Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog, episode 46. Here we go from our friends over at San Francisco Gate, the website that uh, I covered recently, uh, where they were talking about filming and stuff in San Francisco. Uh, this is Alyssa Pereira. Once again, I kind of figured after she did that story that she would hopefully continue reporting on this movie and all that's happening in San Francisco with it. So Alyssa, big shout out to you. Um, we have uh, information here from her and I'll put a link to the article down below. Make sure you go check it out there. Uh, if you leave a comment, say the Venom vlog sent you. Um, neighbors tweet videos of Marvel's Venom film around North Beach. So uh, they're filming right now second unit stuff. Um, for those of you who don't know who second unit, uh, what second unit is, basically second unit is uh, is the shots that you don't really need the main director for. Sometimes they might be there, but usually you have a second unit director and they're getting like cutaways. Like if they're doing a chase scene, they're like, oh, we need extra footage of the car uh, moving. Uh, we want it in a different city though. So while, you know, Ruben Fleischer and everyone's wrapping up stuff in Atlanta, uh, you have a second unit director in San Francisco shooting these uh, chase sequences. So the motorcycle scene we saw before with like uh, you know Tom Hardy sitting on a motorcycle and then there was like you know a scene I think where he gets knocked off and he gets you know choked on the ground and then or he's like getting tasered on the ground and then he stands up and chokes um, uh, Scott Hayes all those things were you know we're piecing together is like this one long chase sequence maybe it's two chase sequences in the movie I would imagine they might do a couple um, so in this one you're getting uh, daytime shots of the motorcycle chase scene and what's going on and you see like SUVs and, and things going around so these people here I'm gonna link not only to SF Gates uh, article but I'll link to their uh, Twitter pages uh, of the people that posted some of these videos and uh, the first one I'm gonna click right now I'll just have it up we're not gonna do any audio because it's not really necessary uh, it's just like you know uh, motorcycles and cars going so we have here uh, people standing around outside and it's uh it's got this uh, ramp going and we're gonna see someone I think Probably, yeah, there you go, riding the motorcycle right off the ramp. Um, so this video is actually brought to us by Leonardo uh, Zamamia. Zamamia? Hopefully I'm saying your name right, uh, Leonardo. But uh, I'll put a link to his, uh, his Twitter down below. That was a video that he caught while um, hanging out in North Beach today, and uh, or actually yesterday, filming yesterday in North Beach. Um, the second video we have here... And actually, I want to real quick before I go into this one, uh, I want to give a shout out again to Venom Gaming. So he left some comments on my page today. He left like four or five comments and I didn't get notifications for all of them, I guess, because they're all pretty close together. So sometimes I'll miss a notification for it. And uh, and so I only saw the one where it said go to IMDb and look for mission uh, mission control operator. But I didn't know that he also like a little few minutes later, I guess, left a comment about Silvermane too. So I, I was completely when I made that video, I didn't see his Silvermane comment. So he apparently mentioned Silvermane in one of the comments too. So I'm sorry I missed that Venom Gaming. So again, a shout out to you. And then he also mentioned this. And this is another thing I missed. I, I I saw this on my own because I have notifications to alert me when something Venom related pops up in the news um, and that's how I'm trying to stay on top of all this stuff and so uh, so I already saw this and, and watched this at my lunch break some of these um, uh, two of these at my lunch break so this second one I watched the, I think there's two more that I didn't see um, but I still Venom Gaming thanks for staying on top of this stuff and trying to bring it to my attention so again I'll link to your channel down below along with these other people that we're talking about here uh, so let's see we have the second video here this one I saw, but it's just like, it's nothing major, just someone on the street corner, um, and they're just kind of doing a pan shot of the crew standing around, and, uh, you know, people set up there, there's a little lighting table, there's like gaffer tape and everything on there, um, and then you see like this ramp of this street they blocked off that they're gonna, you know, shoot something on. So again, second unit, like I've worked in second unit before on a couple films, and uh, and it's, sometimes it is stunt work, and, uh, and just cutaways and extra, like, oh, we need a shot of this, we need a shot of that. Um, we, this will help fill out the scene, or in, in, we might need this for the editing room. Main thing for this is that they already filmed some of this chase sequence in, in Atlanta, and they need you know, San Francisco locations. Otherwise, people watching the movie are going to go, this is just Atlanta. Like, I, I recognize Atlanta. It's easier if you have those shots in Atlanta be like close-ups and things where you don't get a sense of the city around it. So that way, it, you're using movie magic and people don't think you're in Atlanta filming. Um, so what they'll do is, you know, they'll go and do all these second unit shots and get these wide shots of the motorcycles and cars driving by in San Francisco so that when they piece it together, it all looks more as fluid as possible and it looks like it's all taking place in San Francisco. So uh, that's pretty much what's going on here. Now there's two more videos. That that one we just watched there is by Joe Vasquez. So again, channel link down or t Twitter link down below if you want to follow Joe. Um, he might be able to 
you know, some of these people, the other reason I want to give them a shout out and put their links is because who knows, we may be getting other information from them. If they're still shooting in these areas, we may see more videos in the near future. So, uh, so make sure you follow them on Twitter if you want to be up to date on, you know, possibly getting some cool footage from the movie. Uh, so another one here we have is, uh, I'll find out who it's from in a second. This one I have not seen. It looks like it's at nighttime and we have the motorcycle going and the SUVs coming in. Okay. Oh, and then there's the rig on the car getting like, you know, like really intense dramatic shots. Uh, keep that uh, keep that flow going. Uh, this is by Katie um, Mu Mui. Uh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry if I'm mispronouncing your last name. Uh, it's her last name is M-U-I, but uh, I'll put a link down to her her Twitter as well down below. Um, Katie got that really great shot. Uh, and then we have one more here. And uh, this is from Kelso, I think. And uh, let's click on this one. This looks like an over the head shot. Um, oh, that one might have a little audio in it because I couldn't, uh, the video is so big, I couldn't find where to shut the audio off. Uh, but that was cool. There was like a, the motorcycle coming over and the two SUVs crashing through stuff uh, behind them. Um, and then ha, whoever got out of that car, uh, in the background, whoever got out of that SUV, it looks like, uh, it was still rolling. So they <laughs> looks like they forgot to put the brake on. I don't know if that was a production car or maybe it was a, you know, like a, just someone driving late at night and almost got hit by the crew. I doubt it. Normally they block the streets off. So, um, but it looked like someone was getting out of the car to look at what happened and the, the SUV, like the, uh, or the minivan is driving away. So it could have been a production. A lot of times they use vans in production. Um, so yeah, that is from uh, Kelso. Uh, yeah, so I'll put the link to their their Twitter down below. And oh my goodness, there's more. Uh, okay, sorry, I didn't know there was more. Um, this one might have some audio. You'll probably hear in it too, just from my end. I don't know if it'll sync up with the video. I'll do my best. But um, so again, motorcycle SUVs, and you see it. It's at nighttime now, so it looks like. Oh, and there's another view of the ramps and stuff. Oh man, that's crazy. Uh, we'll watch it one more time. So, uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so again, when they started this and you saw in the previous shot, some of them were like, like it was still daytime out. So I wonder if they're going to do one of those things where it's like, all right, you know, someone's on a motorcycle being chased and it's like, at you know, as the day is passing and then boom, it's like, you know, nighttime. Um, hopefully it's not as bad as X-Men 3 was where it was like, you know, uh, this, which also shot in San Francisco, uh, part, partly. And they had like Magneto lifting a bridge. And then by the time he moved the bridge, it was like completely night, nighttime. And a lot of people like pointed that out and it's like, Hey, sometimes, especially during, um, you know, uh, the, this time of year, the sun sets really fast. Like it's, it's like five o'clock. It's like, looks pretty good here. And then by five 30, it's almost nighttime. Uh, so it moves really, really fast. Uh, but still in editing and when you're ch chopping movies up, you got to be very careful with that because people will be like, wait a minute, wasn't it just daytime a second ago? Uh, but anyway, that is from Summer with Monica and I'll put a link to hers, uh, her Twitter down below as well. So uh, yeah, this is awesome. So this is uh, again, our friend over at uh, SF Gate, Alyssa Pereira. Um, I, I use, you know, I'm not like really friends with her, but she's definitely helping this channel by reporting this. And I know she's uh, helping her site and people who are Venom fans out there who want this information. Uh, I will put a link if, like I said, down below. It looks like she has a, a Twitter account too. Um, so I'll put uh, Alyssa Pereira, she listed on, her, on this uh, article. So I'll put a link to her Twitter also along with this article down below. So make sure you follow Alyssa. It looks like she's going to have a lot of news. And, you know, we had Atlanta filming and, and Marvelous Realm in Atlanta, and we were getting information from them. So I'm going to definitely be checking out her page every couple days to see if we can get any more news and information uh, to report to you guys on this channel. Um, and then, yes, and then she also mentions the Tom Holland thing. I didn't cover that in my IMDb video, uh, by the way. I wanted to, and I totally forgot since I already recorded it. We'll just mention it here. They did list Tom Holland as Peter Parker on the IMDb page. So I figured I should mention that because we did mention the Don Diego stuff. And sometimes, you know, like, you know, people have said in the chat and in the comments, uh, that that information isn't always accurate. You can't always go off that, but I still like to report on it just on the off chance. Uh, same with like Manfredi and the possible Silvermane connection. Um, it, it's just, fun to talk about that stuff and, and maybe theorize and speculate a little bit. Um, but the fact that they list it on a site like IMDb, I'll consider it, you know, as possibly reliable, you know, it's not always reliable. Sure. Um, there's always that time where it's not, but I feel like it's still good content to talk about it, at least on this channel. So I want to report things to you guys. And if we find out later, they're not true or not, that's, 
you know, that's how it is. But I try to, you know, at least bring that information to you guys so you guys can figure out for yourselves and we can have a conversation about it and maybe deduce whether we think it's true or not. So, um, so yeah, Tom Holland, he's listed as Peter Parker, not as Spider-Man, but as Peter Parker. And I guess that's the newest rumor going around ever since Snap's video went up yesterday on Collider, which is that um, he may just be playing Peter Parker. But again, like I said, if I was Sony, I'd be a little bummed that that's how that information got out there. I would want to be more in control of that. And I know you can't really control everything because news gets out there so easily and so fast nowadays, but you really got to work hard on locking that stuff down. So, so and if you don't want information out like that out there to ruin expectations for fans or mislead fans and make them think they're going to get something that they won't, you need to come out and like, you know, control what's happening. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's awesome. Oh, one, one little thing is that the, the site here lists Venom coming out in October 15th. That's not true. Actually, this is the second time Alyssa Pereira did this, uh, but that's okay. Um, it's probably just a typo both times. Uh, actually, Venom comes out October 5th, not 15th. So if you see that on the website, the date's wrong. But otherwise, October 5th, that's when Venom comes out. So we're just months away. Like We're like eight months away now, and uh, I'm getting so excited for this movie. Eight, uh, eight months? Nine months almost? So yeah. I'm getting pumped and we still got more weight to lose for me. So I'm going to get back to that. Thank you all so much. Venom Gaming, I'll put a link down below to you. SFGate, everyone out there who's getting information for the Venom movie, people on Twitter, you know, you know, taking video and stuff. Thank you all so very much. We really appreciate you. Hopefully this gets you a few new followers and hopefully people can keep an eye on you to see if you get any more information and you're lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time again. Thank you all so much for watching this channel. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you in the future. Peace.